We went there because it was Valentine's Day and we wanted to find some story of love or happiness, compassion and then we decided well we would spend our Valentine to be their Valentine, to be uh, some sort of hope and compassion and uh, some people caring if you like. And when we went there it was uh, a whole different world to what, it, what we would see normally on TV. Uh, people were living in quite harmony with each other, um, all the different nationalities, but the conditions were very squalid. The conditions of the camp itself was horrendous, it, it really was horrendous. When we was there it was minus three during the daytime and it gets something like minus seven, minus eight at night. Uh, the fact that people are sleeping on the ground in tents which are very thin uh, and there's children there as well which is um, very disturbing to see. So I think on the first day that we went it was very emotionally draining and we we really felt it, we really did felt it and uh, I only stayed there three days, um, two nights and one day. I couldn't, I couldn't stay there um, any longer I don't think uh, but there's people up there who have been there for eight years in the same conditions and uh, it was really hard to see them there but their spirits are high because they're all together and they're really confident uh, about you know it's like they're in um, emergency zone in their own life and they have to uh, survive so they, their survival zone has given them so the mode that they're in has given them some sort of confidence to carry on but the conditions that they are living in they know it's bad um, but they can't do anything about it either for us as a community, one of the biggest things that we can do is pressurise um, the, the local councillors and the local government because there are a lot of local governments who are saying we can't house these people. And uh, let's be frank, there is plenty of space to, to house these people, especially if they are genuine refugees. Uh, admittedly there are some refugees, some people who claim to be refugees but those who do get through are genuine and I think we can do a lot more to support them, um, shelter them and that's important.